Welcome to Sports on Fox 36. I am Jordan Strack. A ton of high school girls basketball going across the area. We have nine games coming for you in total. First though, let's start with the Division One games. Christy Gopanis has our coverage there. Jordan, thanks. We have four girls Division One basketball games for you. Two here at Lake High School and another two at Central Catholic. So let's get the action started. We start with Notre Dame taking on Wapakoneta in the first game here at Lake. Early in this one, Eagles grab the turnover and in transition, Tylen King up ahead to Dakota Smith. She goes off glass for two. And then more from the Eagles. Top of the key, Grace Van Sluten. She drives, spins, and gets the bucket to go. Notre Dame rolled tonight, 52-22, the final. And they will take on the winner of this second game between Fremont, Ross, and Start. For the Spartans, Tamia Worthy goes hard to the rack. She gets the shot off last for two. And a close game well into the fourth quarter. Little Giants get it over to Brooklyn Baptista. And she knocks down the mid-range jumper. Fremont Ross goes on to win 41-35. And over at Central Catholic, the first game of the night, two NLL foes, Northview and Anthony Wayne in the district semifinal. Start of the second half, it was a four-point Wildcat lead. Maddie Taylor fights for the rebound, and they work it around to Taylor Stacy, and she drills the three. Then for Anthony Wayne, Kelsey Reagan with it. One dribble, pull up, she knocks down that shot. But Northview would pull away down the stretch, a backdoor cut for Casey Baumhauer. They go on to win 57-36. And Northview will take on the winner between these two. Another NLL matchup between Perrysburg and Southview. In the first quarter, Cougars working in the paint for Kara Barnett. She turns and fires. But this one belonged to the Yellow Jackets tonight. Ball in the paint to Bella Valent. She gets the left-hand shot to go off glass for two. Perrysburg goes on to win 47-41. All right, Jordan, that'll do it for a busy night here at Lake, and I'll send it back to you. All right, Christy, thanks. D2 District Semis down at Paulding. Napoleon looking to make another deep run tonight, taking on Central Catholic. The Irish would come out of the gate strong. Brooklyn Vaughn, the steal. She takes it all the way to the other end of the easy lay-in. She led Central with 11. But the Wildcats would claw their way back. Kaylee Ressler here. The drive and the finish, she had 16. It was all tied up at 20 at the break. In the second half, the Wildcats would blow this one open. Taylor Strzok gets it down low. She goes off glass. She had 20 to lead the way. Napoleon advances. They win 54-38. In the first half, we weren't getting those offensive rebounds, those second chance points that we, we usually pride ourselves on getting. So we cleaned up our rebounding and definitely look to attack the paint more and get those easier layups that we know we can get. It, I mean, it feels so good. We don't expect to go to state this year. We don't expect it. We don't take anything for granted. And so it just feels good to just Keep taking one step at a time. And in the other D2 game over at Paulding, Brian taking on Lima Bath, winner gets Napoleon. Bears would strike quick right off the tip. First shot, no, but Shaylin Miley is there for the rebound and the putback. Then later, working it around, Ali Zimmerman, the long pass to the corner for Addie Arnold. She lets it fly and connects on the three ball. Bears out to an early lead. And then here in transition, they get it to Chloe Antigo. She buries it from deep. Brian, a little bit of an upset tonight. They beat Bath. They win it 49-37. They'll get Napoleon Saturday. D3 sectional at Anthony Wayne Elmwood out of the NBC taking on Swanton from the NWOAL. Swanton trying to pull off the upset and get it done defensively. Off the steal, throw it up ahead to Erica Lutz. She had a team high 15. She also went over 1,000 career points in this game. But Elmwood is really tough. Their superstar, Brooklyn Thrash, had a milestone moment of her own. Three of her 18 here, she became the all-time leading scorer in school history in this game. And then here, Thrash finds Laney Bingham. She's open on the wing and splashes down a three ball. Elmwood moving on, they win it 55-39. Second game at Anthony Wayne. Eastwood out of the NBC against Delta from the NWOAL. Winner will get Elmwood. Panthers came out firing in this one. Terrific design on offense. Work its way cutting Brooklyn Green. She lays it up and in for two. And then on the other end, Eastwood trying to hang around. Throw it down to Paige Ross. She goes to work. Great little move. Flips it up and in. But Delta was too much in this one. In transition, watch the dime. Chloe Weber to Green for the easy lay-in. She had a game-high 16. Delta moving on. They win it 53-27. In Division 3 from Elida, great rivalry here. Ottawa Glandorf and Liberty Benton. Kelsey Erford for OG. Knocks the ball away, takes the steal, the length of the court for the lay-in. Titans had an eight-point lead. They held LB without a single field goal in the whole first quarter. In the second, Riley Irwin stepping around a defender. Uncorks a long ball for LB. That would draw the Eagles back within five, but OG always had an answer. Erford, three of her team high 17. Titans take it 46-40. All right, coming up tomorrow, we'll have much more sectional final night for high school boys basketball. We'll have 14 games in total, and we'll be doing the show from Southview High School. That is tomorrow night on Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Deep Ram Big Board Friday. 
for now, that is it for sports.